Hey to the United States of Erica, I have a follow along full body stretch routine for you. This works well for all levels, beginner to advanced. I'm offering lots of ways to scale back any stretch if you're struggling with something, but I also add some different ways that you can advance and make any exercise harder. One new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and like because I make lots more tutorials and workouts like this. Let's get started. Start with some light side pulls. So put your feet a little over shoulder width apart. Interlace your fingers together behind your head. Then push your arms all the way up straight to the sky. Arms hugging your ears, palms facing the ceiling. Keep your arms in that same position, then reach to the side as far as you can. Important to keep your legs straight and your body completely in one plane. The way to do this is to imagine you're shuffling sideways in a really narrow hallway. Straighten up, keep in that same plane. Hands facing the ceiling, extended and reach to the other side. Very important to even out the flexibility and mobility on both sides of the body to avoid imbalances. Back up to center. Now reach your hands all the way towards your foot onto one side. Can't reach your hands all the way to the floor. Try elevating them onto a block or a pillow. Important to keep both legs straight so you really get a good stretch in your hands and your IT. Turn and face parallel like you're taking a giant walking step. Again, make sure you're keeping both legs straight. Try to get your nose to your knee. Great way to stretch out those hams, glutes, and IT, as well as align the ankles and pelvis. Now we're gonna do calf pulses, so bend that back knee, flex that front foot simultaneously. That front leg straight. Focus your weight into your front heel, not your back leg, so you can maximize that calf stretch. Now reset to a standing pike position. Hands behind your thighs and roll up to a straight, perfect posture position. As always, we're going to repeat that on the other leg so we can even out that flexibility. You can use a mat or a block to elevate your hands if you can't touch the floor all the way. But to challenge yourself, try to place your palms all the way flat on the floor, nose touching your calf to really deepen out that stretch. Turn and face parallel to align those hips and ankles. Get a good ham stretch. But I keep my winters the calf pulses, remember to focus your weight into that front heel to deepen out the stretch and avoid straining your back knee. Pull up, reset to a nice straight standing position. You're the one that I think about. Next up, pike squats. Keep your feet together, parallel. Have your palms touch the floor or the block you're using to elevate. The feet together, palms flat. Then squat down as low as you can. Put there for a second, then straighten back up. Challenge yourself. Try to get your thighs to touch your calves. Straighten those legs up all the way straight at the top. Then roll up, now calf riser, so you're going to go back into that same position, feet together parallel, palms flat, you're going to raise up, down, up, down, Close up any tight spots in the calves and hams, reach forward just slightly to get a nice stretch to those wrists and forearms too. Very last one, you're going to rise all the way up on your toes as high as you can. Visualize keeping the top of your foot and your shin in a perfectly parallel line. Believe it or not, there is a muscle on your shin that actually helps stretch out the arches in your feet. Pedal pulses, so you're going to switch your feet back and forth, bend one, then bend the other. It's a good cross legs diagonal stretch through your thighs, stretches out that IT and your glutes. Next is the turn out opener, so you're going to start with your feet completely together in parallel, then you're going to turn them out, then turn them in, 
Zigzagging your feet as your palms stay flat on the ground and your legs are straight. Then go all the way down until you're in a flat back position. Feet nice and turned out, legs straight, extended from side to side, window to the wall. Arms straight, flat back. For those of you who are super flexible, lower down to your elbows or snake down and try to go flat into a pancake slash metal split. The way to flatten out those hips is to do Geronimo arms and push your hips down. Then whether you're pancake or push up, roll just your upper body up. Try to keep those legs in that same position as wide as you can. Slowly bring those legs together in a pike. Isolating just the hips and legs is really good for increasing your range of motion. Sit on your legs, pointed feet, feel those heels right underneath your bum. Place your palms behind you, try to turn your fingers towards the back wall. Push those arms back as far as you can and then just hold it there. Stretching and extending some of those most underused muscles, lengthening those lats and pecs, extending those ankles, stretching the quads. To challenge yourself, try to lower down to your elbows. This is really gonna open up those pecs, open those shoulders for good posture. If you want an even deeper thigh slash quad stretch, push those hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Also gonna open up the hip flexors and pelvis, and to even deepen out that stretch, try to slide your feet back towards your hands. Next is the angel wings or hybrid butterfly. So you're gonna kneel, good posture, and then open your legs up into turnout. So your legs are gonna be kind of into a bent end position. Actually, it's really similar to doing a butterfly, except your torso is flipped the other way. Adjust your feet and knee positioning slightly until you hit that really sweet, comfortable spot, and you'll feel that great stretch opening up those hips. Good job, now lay down flat on your stomach and you're gonna push straight up into a cobra position. Straight arms, feel that tailbone and hip flexors stretch out. Then you're just gonna rock back and forth, push forward, push backwards. Try to push just a little bit deeper each time, feel a good stretch through those wrists, and then reach as back as far as you can. Every vertebrae in your spine moving and working. Very last one, you're just gonna push all the way back as deep as you can. Visualize putting your head right between your thighs. Your hip flexors and palms flat on the floor to deepen out the stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Got this. It's work, relax, come up to that regular cobra. Just gonna bend one leg and bring it forward like you're doing a hitch. Spread those hips and pelvis wide open as far as you can, firmly planted on the ground. Pressurize the leg with your palm to really deepen out that stretch. This really opens up those hip flexors and improves your flea repeat on the other side so we can even it out. Hit your knee up, maintain the cobra position, turn your ankles out to really open up those hips. You can also twist slightly over your shoulder to deepen it out on one side. And roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel an oppositional stretch through your back, extending each and every part of your spine. Now push into a glute bridge position. Place your hands underneath your bum and push those hips all the way up towards the sky. Feel that pelvis and quads open up a bit. Try extending your legs all the way out straight like you're doing a mermaid dolphin tail. Try not to arch so much through the middle of your back, but focus more on pushing those hips towards the sky and opening up those shoulders. Walk back up to the regular glute bridge position. Then one by one, you're gonna tuck your legs up like you're doing a suspended tuck flip. Bring those knees as close to your forehead as you can. Amazing for stretching out your spine in the opposite direction. Stay in that tucked little ball, and to challenge yourself, you can try to extend your legs out to pike. Bring up those hams and those calves while rolling out your back. Pull down, you did amazing. 
We've gotten through the hard part of the workout. Now you're just gonna bring your knees to your chest, hug them there, close your eyes, rock back and forth, side to side, in, breathe out, let the tension go. Feel each and every muscle and joint relax, open, and rest. Congratulations, you did absolutely amazing on this workout. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because I make lots more tutorials very similar to this. This outfit is from Cirque J Active. They just released their summer collection which has a lot of really cute prints and cohorts, matching sets and different colors and designs. I'm going to link them below in the description so you should definitely go check them out. And by the way, we do have a part two of this workout which focuses a lot more on leg flexibility. If that's something you're interested in seeing, leave a comment below so that we know. Follow me on Instagram and my new Snapchat. I'm super interactive with you guys. I respond to DMs and I send snaps back. The States of Erica knows that I reply to every single YouTube comment and I mean every single comment. If you ever have any questions or need workout advice or video requests, just leave them below and you'll get a response really, really fast. And I will see you in next week's video because I am getting back on a regular schedule uploading every single week. So I will see you then. Bye.